Republican lawmakers likely see that when it comes to single payer, the writing is on the wall, at least nationally. I mean, there's a ton of momentum for it. But we're especially seeing a lot of enthusiasm at the local level as grassroots activists push for their state governments to enact single-payer health care plans. But the Republican Party, knowing that their health insurance donors are counting on them to perpetuate the status quo, well, they're now trying to attack single-payer and attack it at the state level specifically. So... What is the so-called states' rights party trying to do to stop single payers' momentum? Well, they're trying to restrict states' rights. So they're actually reversing their position on support for states' rights. So according to Zaid Jelani and Ryan Grimm of The Intercept, they explain that Louisiana Republican Senator John Kennedy plans to use the most recent effort to repeal and replace portions of the Affordable Care Act to push an amendment that would bar states from enacting their own single-payer systems, he told reporters on Monday. When asked by The Intercept on Tuesday about the status of his legislation, Kennedy said that the bill's co-sponsors, Senators Lindsey Graham and Bill Cassidy, told him that the measure already banned single-payer, but that he was welcome to offer his amendment either way. I don't think states should have the authority to take money from the American taxpayer and set up a single-payer system, Kennedy said. Now, some people think that that's inconsistent with the idea of flexibility, but that's what the United States Congress is for. I very much believe in flexibility, and I know the governors want flexibility, but it's our job to make sure that that money is properly spent. The irony, of course, is that the Graham-Cassidy repeal effort is pitched as giving more power to states. I believe that most Republicans like the idea of state control controlled health care versus Washington, D.C. controlled health care, Graham said Tuesday. And if this repeal effort fails, he warned, darkness would be coming. At the end of the day, this is the only process left available to stop a march towards socialism, he said. So, in other words, the Republican Party is only pro-states' rights when it's convenient for them. But if they see an issue that they don't like, well then... They're going to restrict states' rights. It doesn't matter how hypocritical it makes them look. It doesn't matter if that actually undermines what they're selling and the brand of conservatism and pseudo-libertarianism that they're selling. They don't care. You know, they see that momentum is moving in the favor of single-payer. And the way that they're going to stop that momentum at the state level, at least, is to just outright ban it. I mean, this party is a joke. It's a complete joke. And... They continuously push this idea that they're pro-states' rights and small government, but you are literally saying that states don't have rights. This is counter to what the Republican Party's philosophy has been over the course of the last several decades. I mean, at least since Reagan, with the Reagan Revolution, he maintained that big government is bad and small government and state governments, you know, they're preferable to a national government, which is why he wanted to reduce regulations and whatnot. But I mean, the Republican Party, their only goal is to appease their corporate overlords. They are bought and paid for 1000% by not just the health insurance industry, but basically every special interest you can imagine. So, these Republican scumbags, you know, they can try to ban single payer at the state level, but nationally speaking, it's going to happen. I mean, they don't even really have to do this if you think about it, because you have special interests and health insurance lobbyists already at the state level. I mean, look at California, who are trying to stop any efforts towards single payer at the state level, but then they are trying to really make sure that there's going to be no way that this passes. But it doesn't, look, it doesn't matter. Bernie Sanders' Medicare for All bill, that's going to pass. It's going to become the law of the land in this country, whether they like it or not. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I know it's going to happen. And with all the momentum we see right now, with even a plurality of Republicans getting on board, you're not going to stop this train. So single payer will happen. And this attempt to just ban it is honestly pathetic. Support this podcast by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash humanist report.